and welcome to the beach. Excited to share some stuff today, uh, some real numbers, and the reason why I want to share some real numbers is because you always see maybe people always making the big money, and they say money, money, you see, look at that, look how much we made, but are they really ever showing you the down parts that they have? Well, you're going to see some of that today, and how to hit, how to hit a wall, yeah, I can show you how to do that too, but how to overcome hitting walls by using goals, and I'll be sharing my personal stuff today, but it's also to be able to help maybe you in your life, anything you want to do to overcome or you hit a wall yourself and anything else. Um, it might be might be some ways here that you could, uh, some little tricks you could use to help you get past that wall. Anyway, let's check out some real numbers. Okay, this is a tax-free savings account. This is what I started out in. And you look here to the bottom left, you'll see some Pinterest shares. I have 158 of them and I bought them at 77.41 a share and they are now down to... 1857 a share giving you a grand total loss or giving me a grand total loss of nine thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars and twenty four cents and in my other cash account I have some shares of Apple block PayPal Visa set these all up for long-term shares but you'll see over here we have down seventeen hundred and twenty eight dollars and eighty one cents down and let's go for a total, 9,100 there, plus another 17 there, gives you a grand total, 9,8, or 10,8, pretty much 11,000. Yeah, how's that feel? <laughs> like hitting a wall. Well, here's three tips to help getting past those walls. First thing we're going to look at is, is just walking away, just taking a break from it all to clear your head. And not to worry about it, just, just to let it all go for a little bit and take a little break so you can come back with a better mindset to deal with it. Okay, after going back in and taking a look at this again with a fresh new mindset, first of all, yes, it's showing I'm down, but I haven't lost that money because I haven't sold anything yet. I haven't sold those shares. Now, it's showing I'm now $9,000 that I'm down. Well, out of that nine, I'd, I'd made 4000 So really, I'm only down 5000 from what I'd, from what's in the account. The stock itself was one of those stocks that ballooned right up when everybody was inside on the computers and on their phones, everything inside so much. And now it's back down to what it was before COVID. So I'm just going to take that little stinker of a stock and that's just going to sit over here in the corner for now. I'm not losing any money on it. It's just sitting there. So it's like money put away for later that I'm not going to have access to or do anything with till later. But that's what it is, what it is. So that's how we're going to deal with that. I also want to point out I get into that mess because of, I'm going to go with selective hearing, really, because of the 300 times that Mr. Jackson had mentioned to start off with your long-term stocks first and build those up first, then get into trading. Well, the one time a guy calls in and says he starts out trading and Tyrone didn't completely discourage him, I thought, there, must be good to go because that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to hear. So anyway, understanding that, knowing where we went wrong, now I'm going to start doing this right. Here's the second part to getting past some walls is changing the plan, not the goal. Sometimes you got to change the plan to get to the goal. Okay, so I had to put set up a cash account instead, and I start building positions in down S&P stocks. And yes, they are down. However, the whole market has been down for the last six months due to interest rates and the war in Ukraine. So there's something pretty cool here I want you to see is that if you look at these two stocks right here, both these stocks, they pay a dividend and they're in the Dow. And you look at how much they've dropped as compared to the other two, the Square and the PayPal, see the difference of how much they've dropped. Thank goodness, in this, in uh, Tyrone had mentioned, to stick with the Dow stocks that pay a dividend because they don't drop as fast. And that's exactly what I can see right here. Things will come back around in the fall, but for now, I'm just happy that, that they only dropped a little bit compared to the rest of the market. And the third tip, to getting past some walls is focusing on your dreams and goals just getting our goals right out in front of us make them easy to see it helps focus and here's some of my trading goals that i had set back in 2019 and uh it doesn't matter if it's written out in crayon because that's what it looks like right but it doesn't matter what you write it on how you write it out as long as you get those goals out in front of you i think it really helps and as well as trading goals but also the big picture goals 
What kind of money do I want to be making and when? So I get 5000 a month in passive income, August 15, 2024. And what I've learned from successful people is they say to put this stuff in front of you. Sometimes we see it every day. So I stuck one in the truck. I got a few at the house. And it's just to, to get your mind focused on, on where the future is going, on your future, so you can see it. If you see it every day, it's going to come in. It's going to happen. It's going to happen for you. That's what we got to believe because people have already done this and it works for them. So if it works for them, it should be able to work for us. So thanks for checking out the channel and uh, checking out the video. And hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it's a way to get you past some of those walls, either climb around and bust through them, whatever you got to do to get past where you're at right now to get to where you're going. Thanks again. Take care.